my name is Dan Burkhan, and I'm a member of the Washington, D.C. chapter of the Young Presidents Organization, YPO. We're a peer membership organization of company presidents uh, under 50 years old, and uh, we want to thank Dr. Reeves for allowing us here today, uh, together with one of our guest speakers, Andre Norman. Part of what our group does is to educate our members and our community, and uh, Mr. Norman is going to be one of our educational events this year in helping us to understand the criminal justice system and understand uh, choices that kids are faced with in the cities today. And so we're here at uh, Ballo High School to uh, talk to the students and share a little bit about uh, Andre's story and try to make that connection. All right. Good afternoon, and thank you for having me. It's a pleasure and honor to be here. I'm here in connection with YPO, the Young Presidents Organization from Washington, D.C., and it's the goal of YPO and myself to collaborate around the country and around the world to bring education to inner cities as well as other folks who are in need. Um, and the goal today is to enlighten and inspire and educate the young folks at Ballou High School to the possibilities of things that are out there waiting for them and the people who in the world who want to engage them when they're ready and to be on the terms and on the level and the standards to meet, to, 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 to engage with a global society. So it's a wonderful facility you have. It's a wonderful staff that we've engaged with. Now we're waiting to meet the students, and it's a collaborative effort. It's not just a YPO thing. It's not just a university thing. It's an Andre and YPO here today to help make a difference in this school. So please pay attention. Please stay focused, and we appreciate your time and effort, and we look to see you again soon. I can talk about my life, my life history, I can talk about 
Two months ago, I went on staff at Harvard Law School. I officially, right now, work at Harvard Law School. I'm going to be working there for the next 10 years. So it's not that you're going to say, yo, it's something small. I want to do something. And I believe that you can do something. And I don't think my life story is going to change your life. If that's the case, I can pull this thing down. We can play Antoine Fisher or Rick Ross, whatever video we want to play. You never heard of him? Then you got it. It's a movie. I can tell you. Well, you know something? I can actually hear it. And that's the thing. I can play a movie. My life never heard of it. Now, I'm going to say this shit, right? I'm not asking any questions. What are you saying? No, he doesn't. He can sit just like he is. He's fine. I used to sit like that. Because somebody's sitting like that doesn't mean they're not listening. He has the ability to walk out of here any time he wants. So as long as you're in the room, I don't care how you sit. Lady, sir, I'm just about to start excusing people and make life simple. I don't need any help. I don't need any help from the state. So when I was sitting in prison, I decided I wouldn't go to hall. Then I made a plan. <laughs> Sir, can you do with mass happiness? If I gave you three of the best math teachers in this building and left you for two and a half years every day, you think you want to do with mass happiness? The premise is simple. He can't do surgery, he can't fly a plane, he can't do taxes. The formula is this. If you spend time with a real teacher, you can learn. The formula for success is simple. Time spent with a teacher equals success. I don't care what the subject matter is that you want to be. Time spent with a teacher equals success. What profession do you want to be, sir? 
read that for me so I know that you know this. I don't care if you know my name, where I'm from, or anything else. I want you to know this one thing. We read that for me. Time spent. Time spent. Time spent. With the teacher. With the teacher. Equals results. Equals results.
bring up on stage, you can talk to my face. How many people can you get to fame and come to a teacher? Give me a How many? None. Zero. 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 He don't get it. He stuck his head. He stuck his head. How many? How many? How many? Zero. Now, what I just heard is every day these people get up in the morning and they make their way to school. Whether they good or bad to you, they good or bad at their job, they show up. One second, I need you to stop. I need you to stop. They show up to try to educate you. The purpose of educating you so you can have a life and career, you can have your own face and your own stuff. If they don't teach you, you 100% don't learn, you guarantee to you fail. Yes, sir. You gonna get out the street at some of these McDonald's messing with their hamburgers. They might go to McDonald's and some of them can mess up my hamburgers and shouldn't work in some place else. But they walk down to school, they ain't street and can't get a job. They back there taking all the money. So what they say to me reflects on you. I'm gonna tell you this here, I got a real simple policy. I went to school not this nice, but like this. So if you can't say thank you for what you already been given, you deserve nothing else. Thank you won't cost money. They ain't nothing to do to hear you. They ain't nothing to do where you're from, or what sex you claim, or how you're doing in the class. They ain't speak to who you are as a person. I don't care how you sit, how you dress, what you call yourself. If you ain't got what they to say thank you, I'll be damned if I bring anything to school for anybody. Now, I have an agency in the city that's made up of 80 CEOs and businessmen. They run some of the biggest businesses in this area. And I'm here. Not for me, but to engage them with you. So I can say, hey, this is just another time to need some internships, they need some jobs, they need some opportunities. But if you can't say thank you, a basic thank you for what you've been given, then I'll be damned if I have anybody come bring you anything else. A job, a spoon, a can of soup. I'll step over you in the street and walk through a bit of sad for you. Because if you ain't got it in you to say thank you, that's on you. Ain't got nothing to do with your mama and your daddy. Or your name to your circumstance. That's who you are. Yes, sir. What else, no, sir? Life ain't fair. They ain't here to teach you. You ain't here to teach them. Now, should they be nicer to you? Should they be more warming to you? I'm sure of all these people, some of them y'all don't like. And some of them don't like you. I had a discussion with my son yesterday. He don't like his English teacher. I said, son, if you can't get that lady to teach you, you're going to lose. And I'll be damned if you will come sing on my couch when you're 25. So you need to find a way to make that lady teach you. She ain't gonna be your friend, but you gotta learn what she already knows. So if you want them to be your friend and be nice to you, that's cool if they have to be that. But if they're not, move on. Find something to get you an education so you can have a life. So my next question is this. Who are your favorite teacher? Right there. When you're done, oh, we don't want to outlaw them. I know mean, I mean, you're nice with it. Who's that bunch of you? Who has your favorite teacher song that's sitting on the stand? Stand up, please. If you have a favorite teacher, stand up. You see it. All right. Come up on stage. Please stand. Come on up here.
talking about them jobs. So what's up them jobs, right? Yeah. My man right here, he used to go, what's up them jobs? But you can't stand up and show respect. The people, you stood up? I apologize, I just gave you facts. So, now, for example, we're going to start on this thing. When you come to the front, what I need you to do, in the back, hey, my man, in the back, we're going to start playing the room again. Because I ain't got time to spend all day asking you to pay attention. You want to pay attention to me all. Please tell them why you should come here every day and before you leave the stage. Why are you here?
God comes in and shows you something positive on a daily basis, it's easy for us to follow others that are not doing the right way. Being leaders and leadership is a skill that has to be developed. Every one of you right now who stand for two years will be very instrumental in our communities, but it's positive, and we pray that it's not something that you can And as the, as the slogan says, black power and black bodies matter, that's what we need to have. The principal of Blue High School. It's real simple. So I moved 3,000 miles away from my family and my friends who I wanted to work in a school where every student looked like me. And I wanted to be in a school where the school needed a turnaround because the kids haven't been given the best that BC has to offer. So I come to Blue because I believe that you can fail by the system and I want to be a part of that change. It's real simple. I'm here to make a difference and I believe our staff is committed. Not only are you giving us your best. And we haven't given you our best, but we're stepping it up every day. And it's so simple. I come because I want to work with kids who are just like me, and making sure that you guys are in the road, and that I'm not writing anybody in prison like I am former kids in California, where there's more funeral for kids out here. Real simple.
Creek who I live over the border of Mexico. Was raised by a single mom, grew up pretty poor, lost my house at 17. Uh, went to college, paid a house to get myself through school, started a company. Uh, I now work at the government. I encounter terrorism, kind of smuggling around the world. Uh, work in any terrorism, fight ISIS. And uh, I give people every day that uh, come from all walks of life. I got people in my company that uh, went to high school and made college. I got people with uh, doctorates. Uh, I look for people that uh, want to do something with their life, right? Want to make a difference. Uh, I was really impressed sitting up here. You guys were walking in. Three or four of you came up, looked me in the eye, took my hand, said, hey. Uh, pretty impressive. Not a lot of kids your age have that kind of confidence to come up and do something like that. I take people like you my company in day. You know, when people start my company oftentimes, they come in the summertime, they're looking for something to do, they're looking for a couple of bucks, they come work in our office, learn a little bit about the, what business is about, bring them back the next summer. I got 10 people in my company start out in high school with me, uh, come in the summer just because they want to do something, maybe different, you know, computers, you know, all kinds of things. Uh, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to start out. You just want to make a difference. You want to come in, you want to make something of yourself. I respect that. This group I belong to in Washington. There's 80 of us that all run companies. We're all in our 30s and 40s. And uh, we love having kids like you that want to do something with themselves. Want to come in, want to show what you've got. We'll always give you a chance. There's not a business owner in this town that won't give some kid who walks in the door and wants to give a serious shot at uh, working a hard day or on the road and taking a second. What's the qualifications for a company or person to be a white field member? If you're a white field member, uh, you've got to be a CEO or president of the company doing at least $12 million a year. And uh, that's, that's what you've got to do to get into it. What's that? Yeah, yeah. 
I'm trying to introduce you to people that can be helpful to you. Then I go to another city and do it there. I go to another city and do it there. That's all I want to do. I ain't important. All my own importance is, is to introduce people in this school who can be helpful to you. I don't need a job. I got a job. I don't need a house. I got three houses. Huh? I got three houses on three copies. One in Boston, one in London, one in the Bay
there be questions, comments, reflections, feel free to use Betty Day Job. But what else? Yes. What was it that made you decide to switch that? What made me decide to switch? Excuse me, gentlemen.
When my mother went mother of the year war, if I had a last vote, she wouldn't get it. But she's my mother. Did she cook for us every day, clean for us every day? No, but she's my mother. And she would go out every day into the world and couldn't say my name because all it carried was a negative connotation. Ask my mother where I'm at now. Well, I believe he's in D.C. trying to talk to some young folks about doing better. Where's he gonna be this afternoon? Where's he gonna be downtown with 50 business owners trying to teach them how to do better? Where's he gonna be in Walt? Where's he gonna be in Miami? Teaching some people in Miami how to do some things in the Caribbean. Where he at next week? I don't know, it's gonna be at Harvard. You want a ticket? Never again will my mother be embarrassed to say my name. Never. Never. <laughs>
Why does ain't no CNN, ain't no C channel, BET, it's on Harvard's website. You go to Harvard Law School, you see my, my event, and you see all the people at his name, you can see the video. We're not in there playing nice, we're playing real. We dying in these streets. If we manage to not get shot in the street, they're locked up. My mission is simple. Educate and be helpful. I ain't trying to change for nobody. I'm going to be one more people the day I go. I don't know how to be humble all the time. I don't know how to be friendly all the time. I don't come from a humble, friendly place. So if you want a humble, friendly person, call somebody else. You want to know how to get something done? I'll show you. And go out to me talking, I've been I getting money since I was a kid. I'm still going to Being broke ain't never been a problem. I'm about getting money. Believe it. Don't get nothing else twisted. I'm about making money, getting money. But at the same time, I'm about giving back. I do both. There's no problem. I travel the world. I help people, and I make money. I apologize for none of the three. So if somebody got a problem with one of them, ain't my problem. I'm here on my time. If I'm not the person for you, I'm sorry. I hope that person shows up. All I can do is what I know how to do, and that's to be me. Some of them like, that dude rude, or that dude fit. That's why I am. Go right away, ask my man. Like, yeah, that's correct. He liked that. He just liked that. Go right on the block, like, yo, man, dude came through and described how I was. Like, yeah, that's that dude. That's how I am. It's my life. Yes, sir. I can't hear you. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, but I currently live in the Dominican Republic. I do not live in D.C. I've been in D.C. a few times. I used to go up on Georgia 7th and saying South East. I ain't gonna name the clubs I used to go to because they ain't broke. So basically, you're the only time to see you. You're the only time to see you. I'm here for today, yes. And if you want me to come back, let's talk about this. Who wants me to come back? If you want me to come back and sit down with you, that's cool. That's completely cool. I don't know what we're gonna do the hard work. We just take five, seven people going in the classroom. If you want to run the bar entrepreneurship, I have two more multi million dollar companies sitting two feet behind me.
D.C.? Not all them kids might go play in D.C., man. At that school you was at. I'm going to say this. I said, they sat, they paid attention, they asked me big questions, they were respectful. Ain't been no poets, even if people wanted to leave, needed to leave, there wasn't no major burn down the building. Hey, this ain't for everybody. My testimony about you, you showed up, you were attentive, you were respectful, you were good young folks, you were about your business. I don't care how you sit or if you cover your head, that would mean nothing. As long as you were here, you paid attention, and you engaged, that's what I'm going to say about you. Because it's true. I ain't making it up. I ain't lying. That's what you did, and that's what I'm going to say. And if you can sit here for an hour and pay attention, if you can sit here for an hour and engage correctly, then you can do it tomorrow. You can do it tomorrow for two hours or whoever else. What was your name? My name is Andre Moore. And if you put it in Google, my website, Facebook, Twitter, all the stuff, YouTube, videos show up, you can see the work that I do if you want. But my name is Andre Moore.
If you don't want them for offering, there are others. 